What's going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my returning OG subscribers, what the fuck is popping? What's up? What's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really do appreciate that. This is a Scorpio affair, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart. You click on this video, let those ads play for at least 30 seconds. Smash that super thanks button, I'd appreciate it. Join, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Scorpio, grab your boo, your hookah, your coffee, your tea, your tonic, your whiskey, your Patron, tequila, whatever. And let's tap into these energies like we always do around about this fucking time. By the way, happy fucking birthday, Scorpio. I love you guys. So the first energy out is hot new affair. Absolutely. Like, Scorpios want all new everything. That's, that's what I've been hearing in my comments. Like, y'all don't want shit from the past. So there you go, Scorpio. That's your first energy. Hot new affair here. Let's see. So on the bottom of the deck, you have he's depressed, keeping it to himself. Mm. So did you meet somebody, a hot new affair, and they depressed? Or is this the person you leave as depressed, Scorpio, because you left their ass finally? Let's see. The message is here for Scorpio. Scorpio. What are the messages here? Alright. So your overall energy is kiss my ass to the haters. Yeah, you, you no longer give a fuck what people think. I don't think you ever did, Scorpio, but okay. Attraction, trying something new. Okay. So yeah, I feel like this hot new affair is, I feel like you're going with somebody here that's not normally you know what attracts you or or like it's not normally what the type of guy you'd be attracted to but there's something about this guy okay the next energy says doing the most <clears throat> then we have menstrual blood love spell wow what in the fuck is going on and we have back with x Oh, okay. Let's see, Scorpio. <sighs> this show ex. Your ex doing some kind of witchcraft. They doing the fucking most. Like, this person even going to see people. They could be even trying to feed you this ministration blood, Scorpio. I don't know what the fuck. For some of you guys, this is a same-sex connection here. You're attracted to something new. Some of you guys are leaving the opposite sex going to the same sex. I just heard that. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like your ex is doing some kind of ritual work or some kind of fucking spell work here, Scorpio. Male or female, take it how it resonates. To get you away from this hot new affair, like... This bitch was fine when you when you left his ass um, about cheating. The bitch told you to kiss their ass, Scorpio, and kick rocks. That's what he told you. That's your overall energy here, okay? Now you telling this person to kiss your ass. Okay, this person, but what they're doing, once they realize you were dating somebody else, Scorpio, so I feel like this depression is not the new love affair. This is, your, this, is this old bitch. I feel like... Once this person realized that you moved on, actually, and wasn't as miserable and sitting somewhere with your fucking head tucked between your legs, that's when this person started doing the most. Y'all see the lights flickering, guys. We have another hurricane watch, Hurricane Nicole here, so. Um, but anyway, y'all pray for us. Pray for the family. Um... So, yeah, this person, they start, they see that you're really attracted to this person and that y'all really have a lot of chemistry here, Scorpio. So, it's like now they're, they're pulling out all the stops. They really don't want to be in a relationship because we know that they're incapable of, you know, not cheating. But they just don't want you to have nobody else. And they don't want anybody to love on you. That's like, that's what you've been dealing with with this person. Good thing you left their ass. Let's get a little more clarity here on the ex and what they're doing here, Scorpio. 
Okay. It says silenced. So that's clarifying this new, um, hot new affair here. I feel like you're keeping it to yourself. You're not letting anybody know about this one, Scorpio. That's what I, I, I energetically hearing you say, like. But for some reason, your ex finds out about it. And he's pissed or she's pissed, like, off. Like, you weren't supposed to just move on from them like that. They the, they the cats me out, okay? Crimes against animals here. He's depressed. Clarify with crimes against animals. If you and your partner shared a, a, a dog or a cat or something, I'm here and go get your shit. Because he's taking it out on the dog. He could be fighting, <laughs> beating the dog ass, wishing he was beating you. I don't know. And then for attraction, we have crimes against children. Maybe your ex try to go younger here. They have a midlife crisis after you leave because you move on. You go on to be happy. You find what you was looking for, blah, 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 blah. And now here they are. They're like, I got that. They got the one up you. So I feel like they went for younger, but this person was too young here. I'm hearing. Yeah, abandoned on doing the most. This person never expected you to leave, Scorpio. They've been running, they, they've been running this operation, you know, flawlessly without any hiccups. Scorpio, you just been going along with this shit or whatever this is. But then at some point you like, I'm ghosting this bitch. I ain't even, I ain't even kiss my ass. Like, I ain't even letting you know I'm gone. You silence, bitch. I'm, I'm moving in silence. Like, I don't want you to know shit. But this person snoops and finds out, Scorpio, they obsessed, they're, they're obsessed with you. Anybody who who do a ministration um, spell on somebody, you're fucking cuckoo and you're fucking obsessed. And then you want to call Scorpio crazy and black and all this deep fucked up shit? No, you are. <laughs> Ministration, ministral blood love spell. We got two for that. Justice, it won't work. It won't work. Narcissist, yeah, for sure. On back with X. Yeah, so it, it's not going to work. Why it's not going to work? Because first of all, this person will never be in the vicinity of Scorpio again to the point where they can feed you shit or do any kind of shit. And whoever this spiritualist is that he's going to see or whatever, they, they weak. They shit not working. They just a front. And then your overall energy is weed head. <laughs> yeah, this person, <clears throat> they could be doing a lot of drugs now. Trying to calm that stench of you being gone and never returning. The stench of not only did you abandon this bitch, told this bitch to kiss your ass, but you get complete justice. Why? Because you find this hot new affair, okay, that's checking all your fucking boxes. This person thought you was going to be somewhere sitting around crying and upset like all the other times. And this time you was like, nah. This time I re I actually really met somebody good. Okay, let's clarify, Scorpio. I actually met somebody who's into me and nobody else. Yeah. So no more no no back with X shit. The devil is a lie. He's a narcissist. They want you, they want them and him and every damn body else, and it's just not gonna fly with Scorpio. We did too much work to spread ourselves thin with other motherfuckers. You know, insecurities and depressions. You know, you you treat people how you feel. That's why I say change how you feel about you and you'll treat people better. That's just that on that. We ain't got to go through no 12-step program or process. Just simply do what I fucking said. Treat yourself like you want somebody to treat you and treat somebody else like you want to be treated. That's just that on that. They'll learn. All right. So the overall energy is the Ten of Swords. That's what you got on um, Hot New Affair and Silence. <clears throat> so, I feel like with this Ten of Swords coming out with the Hot New Affair, I feel like that's the energy of what your ex thought he was going to do with the spell. End it, but it didn't. Okay, it didn't end. That, that card actually was sideways, so I guess it really wanted to come out. Like, bitch, you ain't stopping nothing. Let's see. What's for the, what else for the um, Ten of Swords? I know they wanted to be over. 
they want their connection to be over because they don't want you to be able to say you found the love of your life or you found somebody that was actually better than you, better than them, and that you were actually wasting your time with them. So they don't want you to be able to one-up them, but you, anybody is a one-up on them. Yeah, look, they're not healed. The Page of Pentacles and the Star card. This person wants to, like, offer you something very small again, but they're lying. They're, they still haven't changed. They're the same unevolved motherfucking person who sleep around and think that somebody should stay with them through that shit till they get done, till they get ready to throw you away and move the other way. And fuck no. <coughs> yeah, the magician. Is this two? Yeah. So you got the Magician and the Ace of Pentacles here. So you create your own reality, Scorpio. No, Nobody can fucking do a witchcraft spell on you to create, to, to alter your path or your destiny. Are they fucking kidding me? You're too powerful for that. The best thing somebody can do that wrong a Scorpio is just make it right already. That don't mean you're going to get a chance again, but that just means we'll, have, we'll think better of you, more highly of you as a man or a woman. But yeah, a lot of offers, opportunities, as soon as you break free from this shit, everything you've manifested in this connection that was not able to come through because God refused to bless you and this motherfucker here, it's about to come through. Everything is coming through. Ancestors been waiting on you. You haven't been waiting on ancestor. All right, why is I'm depressed and crimes against um, <coughs> animals here? Yeah, the nine of swords, this bitch, when I say depressed... They taking it out on your dog, Scorpio, or some shit. Are they treating themselves like a dog? I'm hearing that too. You got the nine of swords. This person is very anxious. Just knowing, Scorpio, that you're somewhere thriving and loving your life is really killing this motherfucker because that was their main purpose as a narcissist, to limit you, to keep you caged in, to keep you from away from the world, away from people who are going to appreciate who you are and what you have to bring to the table. Yeah. That bitch was sadly mistaken and disappointed. Scorpio don't, Scorpio would never live under your thumb. You may have us there a little while, but when that pressure, when you saw the prime pressure, Scorpio do too. Straight up. Three of swords. So, all the shit that this person did to you, Scorpio, even the stuff you don't know about behind the scenes, now they're suffering. Now their heart is broke. Now their heart, heart is crumbled and stomped on. Because guess what? Not only did you get a good, like, all these opportunities start coming after you break this connection, but the new heart affairs is soulmate energy. I feel like you, you're about to meet a couple of soulmates, Scorpio. I really honestly do. I feel like you're going to be able to choose between soulmates. Yeah, that's, that's what God doing. The king of swords. Period. You're, you're able to tailor make your life now. Why? Because why not? <laughs> Shit. That ain't deep. That's just what it is. What is this? Yeah, the King of Cups clarifying crimes against children and attraction. What, what was this? Attraction trying something new. Like I said, this person is totally not like you used to. Because the, the person you've been with, they're cold, they're calculated, sadistic. This person, this is a king of cups. This is a good father, a good provider. This person um, wears their emotions on their sleeve. They're not afraid to say, I love you 50, 100 times a day. They're not afraid to open your car, okay? This person is coming from a very genuine place, too. The new person. They realize that, you know... They realize you had to leave something that was bad. I don't feel like you opened up to this person, but they don't even give a damn. All they know is you got justice twice, Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Libra too. All they know is they want to be fair with you. They want to share life with you. They 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 don't feel like you need to go any further. That's that's what this is saying. Yeah, the five of wands. You don't have to fight anymore. Like this person wants to take you off the market. You you're no competition for anybody, Scorpio. You're not. You're in a class of your own. You're, you're set aside. That's just that on that. I ain't even trying to be on no cap cocky shit, but that's just what it is. The Knight of Pentacles is here. The slowest moving night in the deck. Yeah. But you stand your ground no matter what season you're in, Scorpio. You're fully equipped to do that, I'm hearing. So, yeah, Scorpio, you just you fight for what you want. And what you want right now is 
reciprocity. You want you want to not have to think about these type of things in your life. Cheating, a spouse that's you know not sleeping with you, a spouse that's not happy with you, a spouse with a wandering eye, somebody who's always looking for something else, looking for something better instead of cultivating what they already have. Who am I talking to? Because see, that's what Scorpios do. As soon as we get in connection with somebody, we start cultivating what who they are. We do. We do it unintentionally. We're not trying to do it. It's just in certain ways that, that you got to move with a Scorpio. That's just that on that. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about and who you're asking. That's why he abandoned. Clarify abandoned here. Because when Scorpio don't know what the fuck going on, when Scorpio start feeling pretentious, when we start feeling anxious, anything with chess on the end of that shit, we out. We out. Because one thing we are, we're ambitious. That's what we truly are. All these unknowns, it's being revealed. This person was exposed from day one. Why? Because Scorpio already knew what was going on, but in the world of science, you have to have proof, right? So this person think they out, they quarter slick because you hadn't just put your finger on them, bitch. I'm out. You you can you can go you can go back and back and forth with yourself about what happened. I'm letting you know right now what, all the shit that happened. I'm out. That's just that on that, yeah. The five of swords. Now you confused. Now you feel yourself losing that grip, that control because even Scorpio with you leaving them and you probably left them a thousand times. Even with you leaving them, they're still calculating your pattern. They're still calculating on you being loyal. They're still calculating on you being a decent person because they know that you are. They're still calculating on you coming back. That's the biggest calculation that they made in 2023 that they're going to be fucking wrong about it. They are going to be wrong, 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 wrong. You came back a million and one times, but this million and two, bitch, it's a route. The temperance. This is about guide, guided deliverance. Who am I talking to? This ain't about no fucking uh, love and hip hop. Look at that justice. It wanted to come out. You got justice twice now on the table. This ain't no love and hip hop type shit. This real life shit. This real, this day, day in and day out connections here. This what we talking about. This ain't no Mona Scott deal. <laughs> this is actually your life. You have the seven of pentacles in reverse. You ain't fucking with it no more. I know I invested a million and one times, but I'm not do, finna do it a million and two. I bet you that. Fuck you. Fuck this connection. You can do what you want to do. Not be. Why would you let people have what they've been begging for? They don't want it. Now you can go be with 15 women. You ain't even got to worry about nobody at home. Bitching, moaning, sneaking. You, ain't, you can leave your phone on the dresser. But when, when you leave and when you go find better, it's a problem. Scorpio got to be all these motherfuckers and bitch, you been fucking him the whole time. and But you been fucking the whole while we been together. Somebody else, you ain't fucking me. <laughs> I just heard somebody bought a vibrator. Work it out. The four swords in reverse. Yeah, ain't nobody retreating no more and, you know, just saying, fuck it, go ahead. It's this justice. This four swords in reverse, that's justice. And I'm fighting now. I'm up. I got 10 toes down. I'm moving in a positive direction. I've moved on from you. That's all you need to know about my life. So keep watching. Keep snooping. Keep doing whatever you want to do. You're going to see I'm working the four swords in reverse. I'm not home crying and depressed. Clothes in. I, bitch, I'm out here in these streets. And I'm looking good out here in these streets. That part. Fuck. Thought I was going to crumble? No, I couldn't. I, I was crumbling with you. <laughs> I can't make it up. Everything turning in your favor, Scorpio. Every single thing turning in your favor. And relationships in 2023, they're going to be a lot of sound relationships. All the fuck relationships and things that have drained you and have not restored or replenished or, or did anything towards elevation, elevating Scorpio, it's over. Scorpio didn't do it. God did it. You want to argue? Argue with him. God said you can't keep, you can't, why would an empress keep sleeping with a knight of wands? Over and over and over and over again, like. I could see if this was on some kooka type shit, just some good sex and let's go. Okay, yeah, then the knight of wands is your man. But we ain't talking about that type of shit. We talking about justice right now. Yeah, 
the emperor. He's showing up up right now. Clarifying the narcissist and the getting back with my ex. No. See, this, the ex that you leaving, they look they're like an emperor until a real emperor showed up in your life, Scorpio. <laughs> like, now you understand what it means to be equally yoked, right? You're wondering why you're not gelling with this person. It's because you weren't supposed to. They don't have what it takes. Yeah, judgment in the reverse. They catching hell now. You were there covering. I hear that. I, I I just heard that like some people don't know. People who are in relationship, intimate relationship with Scorpio, what you don't realize is you officially inherited not just a friend or a lover or a wife, but a prayer warrior. You you instantly inherited something that God really takes care of. You understand your responsibility as a spouse of a Scorpio, as anything intimate with a Scorpio, mama, daughter, anything. You have a place. You have a purpose. People don't come in Scorpio lives just to come in. Because they can't stay if that's why they came. It's, it's the kitchen too hot. The steak's too hot. You got to be a fucking warrior to fuck with a Scorpio. That's just dead on that. If not, tuck tail and leave. But see, look at this person. They come in the door with the Ten of Pentacles in the in the in the in the Maserati. They come in with the with the makeup bag full of money. They come in with five dozens of roses. Not no one dozen of roses. This person, they they really want you to know they care. Okay, that's just dead on that. Like you've been. All these years, I'm hearing 10, 6, 4. All these years, you've been wasting your body, your time, your heart, your, your all this shit with this person. When just think, it was somebody, it was a Maserati in a bag of money right around the corner. With somebody who honest, who love you, who's into only you. And now they're saying on one knee, I want to spend the rest of my life doing this with you. See, that's what I'm talking about. What are the men that can honestly say when they when they get down on one knee, they can say, you know what? These 10 years that we've been together have actually been the best 10 years of my life. I can't think of anybody else in this entire world, universe, that I'd rather spend the rest of my life loving the way we just played this shit out. Like two people being in bad shit, they know what bad shit is. And now after experiencing this, this person is like, what do I sign? <laughs> Where do I sign for Scorpio? Like, come on, God is, this person think God loved them now. They think everything they've been through was, was for this moment. And I'm telling you that. Yeah, strength. you like strength to their bones, vitamins to their blood, I just heard. I mean, for real, Scorpio. This person finds strength, motivation, charisma. Everything you drive this person, you motivate. Everything this person does, they telling people, I'm doing this for my family. Everything they do is about you, Scorpio. You gave you you gave them that that newfound this tempers keep coming out. I'm gonna put it down. You gave this person a life. You gave them their life back. You're the fool. You gave them hope. The hermit. <laughs> Scorpio, they ain't never letting you go. They, they want to live the rest of their lives showing you what the best quality of life is. What that really maps out to be. The King of Pentacles is the overall energy here. This person wants you to experience travel. They want you to experience um, different tastes. Um, uh, just a different way of life. I feel like this person kind of comes from money, or like they've been they've been well off a long time. Um, this person has had a lot of experiences that you have have on your bucket list. I'm hearing things that you want to do, Scorpio. This it's like this person was God made this person for you. Like everything y'all went through in y'all present life led y'all together. Like I'm getting that. Let's see here. Overall energy is bliss. Bliss and trust. Oh, you can't see it. 
Yeah, I love that. Because bliss is about happiness. You're, you're, you're entering a, a point in your life, Scorpio, where it's just like everything you went through, you like, okay, thank you, God. Like, it'll be distant memories. It'll be distant heartbreak. Like, what you what what God is is replenishing you with and refilling you with Scorpio, it's gonna replace. It's gonna be so abundant, so rich, so fulfilling, till it it'll, it'll replace everything you've been through. Almost the analogy of like nine months of pregnancy, all the late 12, 13 hours of labor, and then your baby here. You forget about the pregnancy. You forget about the pain. It's that type of energy here. Let's move on. God is really blessing you, Scorpio. We have guidance. I told you. God God is your man. God leading you to your person, Scorpio. Don't worry about it. Vision, gateway, yeah. Yeah. Doors are being opened that people can't close. Doors are being opened for you that people can't open. This is all spiritual. This is all universe right here. You have just go walking meditation. Just go, Scorpio. Yeah, get the fuck on, go. Don't be scared to walk. Don't be scared to try new shit. Don't be scared to go to new places because this way you find your person. You find your person in the midst of you cultivating and ascending. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like the more you try to do to, to make you better, you, you start meeting people like that. And you start attracting people like that. And you attract your, your knight in shining armor the same way. Exactly like that. Yeah. It says, Izuli, pay attention, Scorpio. What you're looking for right in front of your eyes, everything you're looking for in front of you, it's not behind, it's not on the side. I can tell you that for sure. Dance portal, let go. So you have let go and just go. It's time to go. <laughs> and that's clear. That's sitting right on that six of swords here. And what's the overall energy? I can. I love that, Scorpio. That's the op your overall energy is I can do it. That's just that on that. Let's see. Uh, let's get a love romance angel. I wish they make some more love cards. This angel um love or this all played out. Let's see. Let's see. <clears throat> it always comes through with the messages though. What's the messages for Scorpio in love? Honeymoon, express your love, playfulness, that's the first three. Mm -hmm. So you guys express y'all love. Y'all play a lot because y'all just feel happy around each other. Y'all make each other smile and all giggly and shit. Yeah. Reconciliation is here. Somebody wants a reconciliation, but it won't happen. You moved on, Scorpio, the bigger and better. Nothing you need is behind you. Pay attention to the red flags. Okay, this is the second pay attention, Scorpio. If you're thinking about reconciling with this fool, come on now. Don't go back into it. religious factors. I told you. Something something went on with this person, I'm telling you. With this, something went on. Let me get one more here. Pay attention, Scorpio. Children could be significant here. Maybe this person has adult children that don't really approve of how happy they are because some people just, because they're miserable in their life, they don't want other people to be happy. This is true love here. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, the way you make this person feel, Scorpio, they, they really don't care what anybody thinks. And then let's see what the overall energy will be. They really don't. I feel like these are grown children or something. It says, let your friends help you in wedding. <clears throat> so maybe people aren't, you know, the happiest about you, you guys' union because I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like somebody's parents wanted something different for them, but oh well. I don't know what they wanted. 
<clears throat> but whatever this is, this person feels like they could they couldn't do any better than you, Scorpio. And that's just that on fucking that like. So whoever this is, they parents, your parents, they got to take a back seat. They feel like some people feel like this is rushed. I'm hearing that, but you feeling like shit? It took my it took my whole motherfucking life and fifteen hundred bad relationships to get here. What do you fucking mean? It's it's rushed. Like no, it's divine timing. Satan get behind me, cause y'all motherfuckers, y'all been in these same broke down mountain relationships since I was a little girl, and how dare y'all try to tell me don't go for it? Okay, I seen you go for less. Like fuck. So that's the energy you in, Scorpio, and that's the energy you should be in. All right, Scorpio, if you're still with me, like, subscribe, join, super thanks. Description box, let those ads play for at least 30 seconds so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. I love you guys. Happy birthday, Scorpio, and I'll see you in the next video.